What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and this video, I want to talk about the medium being delayed and the actual reason. Now, technically, they gave two reasons for this, so it's not a stretch to even say, you know, is Cyberpunk a reason for it? In fact, we've seen a couple uh, other games even delay themselves uh, specifically because, uh, actually, Everspace 2 uh, was delayed specifically because Cyberpunk 2077 landed on that date. It, it's... Well, I have a couple things I want to say. I am disappointed because I am looking forward to this game. This is um, the only, I would say, Microsoft exclusive game for the next you know, conceivable future that we can see that I'm actually excited for. Honestly, there's really nothing else besides it coming out. Obviously, Halo, obviously Bethesda titles, obviously a lot of Fable 4, tons of other stuff for sure. But in the you know very near future, the medium stood out to me immediately when they showed it at that uh, Xbox game showcase that they did back in May. I was super, super impressed by it. I've said numerous times how uh, you know basically intrigued I am at this game. I like these kind of psychological horror uh, games. This one seems very much uh, uh, advanced, and they even talk about how they're using the Series S, Series X features uh, to be able to you know maximize more stuff on it. This is, it's not something that would make me get an Xbox, but the fact that it's being delayed till January 28th actually makes it even nicer. I do hope and plan on getting an Xbox, one of the two, in early 2021, so maybe I'll have it in time. If not, I could always play it on PC, but I'm excited, so I, I do want to make that very clear. Like, I'm not down on this game. This isn't a let's laugh at Xbox kind of thing. I am disappointed. I, I did want this game out as soon as possible. I think it hurts Microsoft actually greatly because in reality, you look at it and they really don't have much to show for themselves for the first uh, at, you know, up until this point for the first month. And then you could say, okay, well, at least, you know, December 10th, they would have this game. And this was something I was uh, very excited to cover and talk about on these channels. And then, I, again, it got uh, uh, delayed. So they, they mentioned, obviously, the thing that went on around the world, right? That's a big reason why this was pushed. But they also mentioned the current schedule of I other titles on the market. And that's where it kind of gets, like, I, I don't know. I, I struggle to say the word, like, funny. I don't want to uh, maybe have people twist that the wrong way but I find that kind of funny where it's like this is a game we haven't seen this in a while like when Elder Scrolls would come out or maybe like a GTA and a Call of Duty like the, those are games that generally publishers and developers are either like openly afraid of coming out the same day or anywhere near them or like so they'll say it or they'll kind of show it in their actions, right, where they just don't do it, right? No game is coming out the same day as GTA, firstly. And if a game does, you know the game's not going to do good, and you know the publisher or developer of that game probably knows that. You know what I mean? So it's pretty – like that's kind of why it's funny. Is it's kind of rare that we see these games that do it. Call of Duty even – I would say, like, there used to be almost a kind of fear of doing it. Now, not necessarily. I mean, battlefields have been pretty, uh, you know, kind of bold to kind of go right up against it. Even this year's Call of Duty, well, because everything was so messed up this year, Kingdom Hearts comes out the same day. as Now, completely different uh, fan uh, like fan bases, I get that. But Kingdom Hearts comes out the same day. The PS5 comes out literally the day before. So you have Godfall, you have Sackboy, you have Miles, you have Demon's Souls. Uh, you know, Assassin's Creed comes out a few days even before that. Yeah, on the Tuesday, you have Yakuza, you know, uh, you know, all of these games. There's so many games. So nobody's really, I guess, necessarily afraid because at this point, it's just like get your games out, hope that, you know, you have your marketing, hope the game does well, whatever. So Call of Duty, I would, I would argue, probably doesn't have that approach anymore. Again, I think a GTA would, I think, or even like a Red Dead Redemption, anything from like a Rockstar, let's say. Um, again, I think like an Elder Scrolls, maybe not even necessarily a Fallout, but definitely like future Elder Scrolls games probably have that concern as well. So it's just weird to see. I mean, Cyberpunk is one of those, kind of. You know, because Witcher 3 was enormous and massive, but it's not to the same level, I would argue, as a GTA or as an Elder Scrolls or as a Red Dead. But, you know, you could argue against me. I, I have no problem with that. Cyberpunk obviously scares people, scares developers, which is pretty odd to see. Again, this is not... So there was, uh, there was a full-blown game that was delayed. Then there was this game, The Medium. And I believe also a DLC uh, for a game was... Was the Path of Exile Endgame expansion uh, was delayed as well. So three different things, two actual games and one DLC was delayed. I would argue simply because this game was there. The medium, you know, blue. They could they could say whatever they want. I do, you know, I I, I do believe them. Where it's like, okay, well, obviously any game could probably benefit from an extra month of working. But also you think about it. Well, you know, it was delayed like a month and a half. This delay is like a month and a half. 
And, you know, I wouldn't say it, like that's not the biggest time in the world in the first place to delay a game. But uh, but also you got to think you don't really release games after the mid like from the middle of December to like the first week of January anyway. You know what I mean? Like that wouldn't happen anyway. And if you didn't probably take time off and a lot of people, a lot of game developers and publishers do take time off in that, you know, in that region. If you didn't do that, it would probably have not been delayed nearly as long. And even though it wasn't long to begin with, you know what I mean? So if it really was because of the thing around the world and there was no, say, Christmas and stuff, this game probably gets delayed two to four weeks max. And and even right now, it gets delayed like a month and a half. That, I think, is kind of a, like they're using that as cover, right? Like like smoke. And the real reason is we do not want to go up against Cyberpunk because it's right before Christmas. We want the game to do good. And I'm sure Microsoft, even though, you know, they they have a pretty good strategy. Uh, I guess, you know, you can be the judge if it's good or not. But they have a strategy of not really caring if their games do good or bad or not really caring if people buy their consoles or not, which I don't necessarily agree with. I, I guess it's fine that they want to do that, and obviously the strategy has worked really well for them. Um, but I don't, I don't think that's a good strategy in the first place. But I'm sure they do want this game to do good. I'm sure the team making this game wants the game to do good. End of the end of the day, I'm very excited for this game. I want to get this game day one. I hope to get this game day one. With it being pushed, it gives a little bit more room for Cyberpunk because, you know, I'm going to play it. I know a lot of you guys are going to play it. And then you go into January, and now January is getting there, right? Hitman, next day after that, it's Prince of Persia. That's the 20th and 21st. And then a week after that, you got the medium. So, you know, after Cyberpunk, there's going to be a couple, you know, obviously a couple weeks, Christmas, New Year's. Then we got, like, two weeks, two and a half weeks, and then, bam, we get hit with three games all within, like, eight days. So pretty fast start to uh, 2021, and that's not counting, you know, Ratchet and Clank. We'll see a lot of other PlayStation games and third-party games as well. So still very exciting, but just a little bit of a, a negative news story. So let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you think? Are you disappointed by this delay? Are you going to get this game day one? Let me know. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. And I do a brand-new video on this channel every single day. And so I hope to see you guys for tomorrow's video.